today we're going to be scanning for DTCs on this Bosch ADS-625, so stick around to check this one out. So I've already done one video on booting this thing up and doing a complete vehicle scan. Just kind of the basic overview of the tool. And today we're going to hone in on reading a DTC and how it works with this tool and what steps you can take, you know, once you have a DTC set and you're trying to diagnose the vehicle. So just for the sake of time, I've already got it connected. You know, we're in the vehicle. Now, this vehicle actually does not have any problems. I induced some uh, codes in the vehicle just so we can kind of, you know, play around with the tool and see what it can do. So, we're going to go into read DTCs, and we're not going to read everything because we know we have a check engine light. So, we're just the one engine. So, it's going to do a scan of the ECM and tell us what we got set in this thing. There's probably several codes set in this because I unplugged some stuff and got some <laughs> codes to set just so we would have something to work with here. Right here we got a ignition coil one control circuit malfunction. I'll give you one guess on what I did there. <laughs> we unplug the ignition coil on cylinder one. So once you get your codes up here, you got your failure records. You can click on that. So it has no information available on that one. That'll kind of vary depending on the code. DTC status. Click there and get all your status on it. And then you can go into details, which is where you really get into all your info. And depending on, you know, the code and everything, you're going to have a different variety of information in this screen. This is a like a brand new vehicle, 2018. It's just what I have here. So, you know, you got all kinds of stuff over here. Connector, TSB reference, waveform, diagram, scan test, location, PCM pin, code assist, code criteria, description. If you're working on an older vehicle, that's going to have some more common problems out there and stuff. This is going to give you a ton of information over here. But unfortunately, you know, this being a newer vehicle, it's not... It doesn't have a ton of information out there right now. First button we got up here is repair source. So let's click on that. And that's going to open up repair source. Which is basically just like a service information. And you got the code here. And click on that. And this is going to pull up your whole, you know, there's all your codes. It's going to pull up all your um, fault information, circuit system description, conditions for running the DTC. This is basically everything that you would see on like SI. It's, you know, this is a GM, so. But it's going to give you all your circuit system testing uh, and everything that you would have if you had uh, access to, you know, SI for GM. So that's really awesome and it auto loads everything it just puts everything right in here and you can see that and obviously you can zoom it right up to however big you want it and all of that and this does have a ton more information over here but we're just focusing on this code for now so let's go back um, and you can do wiring diagrams and that's going to open up all of this but I'm not getting into wiring diagrams today because that's going to be a whole nother video but that button is there and the main thing I want to focus on right now is this identifix button and if you have an identifix account this tool works so well with identifix you just save your information in there and it automatically Put your code in, load your vehicle, and has you ready to go right here. You know, you can see any information you'd want to have all right here. If you have, you know, TSBs. If you're familiar with Identifix, I mean, you know what I'm talking about. You have everything right here ready to go. It loads it up for you at a click of a button. 
So that's extremely nice. You just have your car right there. You can go ahead and you know make your estimate or whatever you want to do right on the tool, and it's just super streamlined. So we'll go back out of that, back into details, and you know if you're a, if you're a certified Google mechanic, you got your Google right there. It'll do a, a Google search for you. <laughs> so if you're one of those people, you know you got your Google right there. Then if you have Mitchell, you got that and all data go straight there. The way this tool is set up is so user friendly and it just flows so well through the whole diagnostic procedure. You know, you got your code set there. I have a ton of code set in here because I unplugged the mass airflow sensor too. But I mean, any code you have, you just go in and you can see all your stuff here you can go straight to identifix if that's your thing you have all the information at your fingertips within you know seconds ready to go you don't have to go from your scan tool to your computer and back and forth this thing is everything in one and it's just going to make the diagnostic process that much faster so that is you know a quick code scan and what this tool can do like i said i'm going to go through uh i want to do another video on the wiring diagrams because the wiring diagrams on this thing is extremely impressive so that's going to be another video i do know they have a software update coming for this here pretty soon so i'm excited about that because i think they're coming out with some cool things to make the tool even better there's still a lot of stuff to cover on this tool so we're going to do a few more videos and make sure i cover everything on this tool and then hopefully when i get you know a, a good opportunity i'm going to do some videos where i actually use this tool to diagnose a problem and show you guys how well it works and how quick it can make any job if you like this video make sure to hit that like button down below if you want to see more videos like this make sure to subscribe to my channel and as always, I really appreciate you guys watching. Have a great day.